welcome to Deer Feet. I'm Renee. And I'm Jess. And we're the Deerfoot Sisters. This week we're talking about music. Yes, we are. There's Jess vocalizing for you. <laughs> you know, um, I never really knew what the name was for doing those cool strings of notes. I never knew it was called vocalizing until I started watching TV with closed captions on. And I have learned a lot of interesting words and phrases by watching closed captioning. Wow. I've That's- also learned that people have a, people who are closed captioners have a really low threshold for sobbing because it will be like, <laughs> someone will be like, oh, and then it puts sobbing. And I'm like, they're, they're really not sobbing. They're like, had one sniffle. But then there's other words like, whenever you hear like an animal sort of like making like a clicking noise, they call it chittering. <laughs> and then like, there's other weird ones that they use a lot that are like different, like I could read that. <laughs> that um, like are different words than I would have ever heard before. So if you have ever feel the need, watch TV with closed captions, and you'll learn a lot of interesting new phrases to use. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Because you had said the vocalizing thing, and I didn't, I had never known what that was. Right. So we like to vocalize. <laughs> right. And we were listening to like some song. I forget what it was. It was like, I don't even know. I don't, I don't remember what song it was, but just think of a song, like Mariah Carey or something, Yeah. Right? And she, like, vocalizes a lot. And we were, like, listening to the song in the car, singing along as we do, and we were doing extra vocalizations. Yeah, you just get in the mood, and you're like, woo! <laughs> and our it. friend was like, you guys are so extra. She's like, really? <laughs> because at first, when I first, like, okay, so obviously, I'm a very, very amateur musician, but when I first would listen to music, like as a kid, I thought when they wrote the songs, they like wrote in exactly where they were like saying every ooh and yeah. And I'm like, that feels so awkward. Like when you write a song to be like, and then say, ooh, yeah, baby, ooh, yeah. And I'm like, that sounds so weird. But then I would realize like, oh, when you're really just like listening and getting into the flow, like it just kind of naturally comes, especially if you've done like 10 takes of the same song in a row, you start like adding your own little flair on it. So yeah, I definitely thought those were scripted for a long time, but I don't think they are anymore. <laughs> And every time uh, we're at a birthday party or even at a restaurant where someone else is celebrating their birthday, I do a lot of vocalizations during the happy birthday song, especially like right. I usually end it with like, to you, yeah, to birthday, enjoy your day, yeah. It's Something the best like year that. of your life. <laughs> and Jessica knows she's a really bad singer, so <laughs> just like, she doesn't think she's good when she does this, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Um, Did you want to pull the thing back up or no? The outline? Okay, which button is it? Chrome. Chrome. <laughs> okay. All right. So our first topic today is our favorite music. So, Jess, what's your favorite music? We started with genres. I mean, genres. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I... Wait, let me guess your favorites. Okay. <laughs> Jess's favorite genres are Disney music, <laughs> alternative indie rock, and like yeah that's it pretty much wait is alternative indie rock one thing yeah like you like alternative music and you like like alternative indie stuff i feel like that's all one like you listen to the pulse on spotify i mean on sirius yeah but i also like country music but do you still like country music? Yeah, I listen to The Highway as well, which is new which is new country music. Okay, so you like country as well. Okay. I would consider the alternative rock to be different from the indie, though. Because I feel like indie is more folksy. Yeah, I think if you like indie... Indie rock is probably, like, alternative country. <laughs> I like sad indie. So, like, yeah, the yeah. kids I babysit, I always have, like, playlists in my... I have, like, one playlist that I'm working off of. I kind of like name a lot of times I name my playlist by the dates so this one is from September 18th 2018 <laughs> and I just day. keep adding stuff to it um like it has like some of the stuff from the soundtrack of A Star is Born and then other things and then the cool thing about Spotify is it will tell you like suggested songs based on what you're listening to or what's in that playlist right so then sometimes I'll just like check those out and I'll add them the older girl was like why do you always listen to music that no one's ever heard of? <laughs> You're like, some people have heard of it. It's an actual band. And then one song that was on there is Start a War. Okay. Which the we National? heard that song. What? By The National? Yeah. Which we heard that song because it was on the show Samantha Who. Is that where we heard it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like and, that song. And um, 
we just Shazammed it. I mean, Shazam still is a thing. I don't use it as much. Shazam is awesome. But even if you just Google the words, but it's so I Remember cool. how, like, on TV shows, they used to say, like, music from this episode, and they, like, told you, like, what the song No, were. originally they wouldn't <laughs> do that, but then they started doing that, and I was like, okay, that's freaky that it's, like, so good that it even knows, like, what TV episode it came from. No, I mean, like, not Shazam, but, like, when the TV episodes at the end, oh. like, on cable would be, like, well, they still for do. music from tonight's episode, and they, like, told you, like... It wasn't even just in the credits. They would just, like, have a special oh, thing where they I said, see. like, this song was in tonight's episode and this song. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah. smart. Well, I mean, I'm sure, yeah, you could check the credits, obviously, to see the music. But I would just shazam it and it would tell me. So there are several times where I found a song just because it was on a playlist or on a soundtrack of some show. Yeah. And I was like, cool, that's a good, like, a good song. And that's then a good song. I check it out. But I do also like look up playlists on Spotify. So one of the playlists that I listen to or subscribe to is called Sad Indie. There you go. <laughs> so it's like great. I love it. So what do you think are my favorite genres? Um, heavy metal, <laughs> classical. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, probably you like pop. Yeah, I like pop. And you honestly like a lot of the same music as me, I feel like. I do. I honestly like a lot of music. You like Disney. I do like Disney music. I like music I can sing along with. Um, but I also do like, yeah, like, a l- I like rock, I would say. Because um, I do like some bands that I think would be considered more like in the rock genre. And I definitely love 80s music. I like have a really good 80s playlist. And 90s music. You and like. 90s music is just like fun to bop to. Um, and I like old country. Not like super old, like... Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash, that's fine, but I like, like, 90s country, like Martina McBride and Reba McIntyre and Garth Garth Brooks, Brooks, Tim Tim McGraw, McGraw. yeah, like, I like all of those artists, when country music was still, like, a storytelling experience, nowadays I feel like, you know, I think Garth Brooks might have, I don't know if he coined the term, but he calls it hip hop today, like, the whole, like, got my truck, gonna have a party and drink Jack Daniels and, like, listen. And they always, in country songs, they always sing about, like, how they're listening to hip-hop artists. And I'm like, that's so weird to me. But, like, okay. The The themes are the same. Yeah, they're the same, but they just... I don't really feel like... enough or whatever the Yeah, I just don't like that it's not really so much of, like, a story. It's not telling, like, a story from start to end. A lot of times they still do, though. But anyway, this disclaimer is that... We don't really know a lot about music, so the way we talk about it is a very like people who don't know anything about music talking about music. Yeah, we don't. We're not like, like professional I don't think audio is actually a musical term. <laughs> yeah, and a strumpet <laughs> isn't a musical <laughs> instrument either. Um, yeah. But yeah, so and then I also like. Wait, can I say one thing though? Yeah. So Taylor Swift was country artist, and then she transitioned to pop. But I still felt like she was a pop artist. Who is basically like still a country artist because first of all, country music has is becoming more poppy. Yeah. And second of all, she does still tell stories in a lot of her songs. She like, does. Her songs but are very storytelling. I wouldn't say which her songs kind of like are a feature country. Of country music. I wouldn't really say her new songs are country because there's too much like electronic music and stuff. Yeah, in there's them. like no instruments. Production. Yeah. And I don't really like a lot of her new music. I don't know. I fell off the Taylor wagon. I'm still hitched. Yeah, I mean she's like a good songwriter she's a very good lyricist good songwriter some of her songs are really catchy like a lot of songs i think were so stupid but then like i end up like singing them like a bad bunch. blood i hate it people love that but a lot of people really liked it when it first came out i was like i hate it but even like look what you made me do like the first time i heard yeah. that and then i was like wait there's like that weird pause in between and then i don't know if you guys have ever listened to that song but like in the middle of the second chorus there's like this weird part where he's like "Ooh!" i'm like what is that noise it sounds like i don't know if that's like when the zombies are coming out in the music video but it's like Really weird sounding. Um, and that just, like, I always get hung up on that. Ooh! And I'm like, what? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, her new album, like, I don't really like a lot of the songs. And okay. I didn't like me. I thought it was pretty stupid. <laughs> but I'm sure it'll get catchy to me, and I'll sing it eventually later. But I sing it every time I teach archery now. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't I tell you? No. So, when you do archery, there's three feathers. They're called fletching on the arrow mm-hmm. and you have to have the the odd colored fletching is the one that oh, yeah, points away from the bow me. so I'll be like one of these things is not like the other and that yeah but that doesn't it. why don't you just sing Sesame Street because three of these things belong to yeah because that's mean <laughs> and I'm like two of these things <laughs> yeah 
That's the song that we sing when we're out with like a person and it's like three best friends and then one like person. I don't know if it's even three or two. I don't it's remember. Really like three three of these things belong together. One of them doesn't. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, we're so, bullies. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, but I would say my top I don't mean honestly I don't listen to a ton of music. I wanna listen I should listen to more. I got weaned off music because my old car did not have any... It had a CD player, but that was it. And I only had, like, 12 CDs. Um, and, and I feel like radio... NPR, radio, radio now. Nerd radio. <laughs> Please. Um, <laughs> nerd radio plays, but then they just rearranged the letters in alphabetical order. Dang it. I was thinking it was NRP. <laughs> NRP. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I must listen to talk radio, and I listen to a lot of podcasts like this one. No, that's obviously. for nerdy people radio. That's better. That yeah, makes nerdy sense people radio. Right. <laughs> but that's because I feel like a lot of radio to just isn't good, or it's like so many commercials. And I'm oh like, wait, so in the New York area, yeah, ninety five five just ended. Did you yes, I know. It? Yes, they got sold to a Did Christian you? rock station. Okay, okay. So you knew that because yes. yeah, I'm Did not, you know I thought they were rock. No, I saw it on Facebook, and I knew about it from before. I had not heard of it until. My I follow PLJ on Facebook, it. so. The reason oh. that I do like the radio is, like, I, okay, so one time I was dating this guy, like, five years, no, it was longer than five, maybe seven years ago. You mean you had a friend? And he told me, like, he was really good at winning radio contests, and I was like, what a bizarre thing to say. But then it, it happened that I became really good at winning radio contests. So there was a year where, remember that year? I was, like, winning prizes so frequently that I had to, like, reject some of them because they only let you win, like, every 30 days or something. So I'd have to be like, oh, no, wait, I don't want that anymore. Now I want this other prize I won today <laughs> and, like, change them up. So, yeah, I'm pretty good at winning radio contests, but I feel like when the stations get more popular, then it's a lot harder to win. Like, I don't think I've ever won anything from Z100, but there was a year where I won, like, six things from PLJ and, like, I won a couple things from, like, CBS FM and, like, a couple of things from Fresh. So you can probably win some stuff from this new Christian rock station. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't want that stuff. <laughs> Why? I like Christian rock music. I know you do. I mean, to Avril Lavigne's new single. I think this other song that I like, it's called You Say, and I mm -hmm. think it's also Christian rock, but it's, like, sweet. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. I don't know. Cool. Me and the kids I babysit for like to rock out to it. It's our jam. One of our like jams. To crock out Christian rock out? <laughs> yeah, crock out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, but I actually once won a cruise from the PLJ radio station, so I feel like... Partially thanks to me, right? Didn't I tell you the name? Yes, yeah, so you told me the name. It was Cruise Tag, so you had to, like, know the person who had won Before earlier you. in the day. And, and then, then I won that won trip to Florida. Renee won the trip to Florida, but she, like, said it, she, like, gave it to my mom. Yeah, because I had previously she had already, won And something. she couldn't go on the trip, right? So, yeah, I couldn't go on the trip. Because basically with the cruise, it was, like, you had to go... And you had to go when they said it was a specific date. So, like, everyone went So, together. I couldn't have Renee go with me because she had school. But then it turned out that they couldn't even put us on those dates because the cruise had booked up. So, we had to go later anyway. Yeah. It was just kind of dumb. But, yeah, I won a trip. Cool. Basically, I won one where you called in and you, like, immediately won $100. And then you got, like, entered to win a trip to Florida. So, I called and I won for myself the $100. And then I called again and I used my mom's name and won the $100 again. And then she won the trip. So... She won the trip, and then she took um, our friend Eileen, and it was really awesome hey, because girl. basically, like, all of their meals and, like, all their drinks, more or less, were, like, included. There were, like, a couple of meals that weren't included, but And they got to hang out with all the DJs. They yeah, and they, like, did, like, a carry one of those, like, Korean karaoke's one night, and it was, like, all the drinks, and they were, like, that was amazing, and it was really small. I think it was only, like, 15 It was, like, at a people. boutique hotel. Yeah, it was, like, 15 or 20 people. And that it was, was nice. Like, it was just trip. like a listener appreciation thing. Yeah, because then all the DJs were down there and they're like, we're live in Florida. Like, um, yeah, here at our party. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, all right, so then next up was favorite songs. So, what is your favorite song of all time? I don't have, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite song of all time. What's yours? Uh, sometimes I think that Revelry by Kings of Leon is my favorite song. Hmm. I really love that song. Um, I also really like The Worry List by Blue October. Yeah. It's very angsty. Um, those are some songs that I pretty much never turn them off when they come on, so I feel like they're probably, like some of my favorites. Yeah. And you know, like, one of my top albums is Horoscope by Eve Six. <laughs> I pretty much will listen to that album, like, that is just, like, one of my pump-up albums. Like, yeah. it's, like, so, I just feel like the songs are fun and catchy and, like, I don't really get tired of them either. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't really know what my favorite song is. 
There's so many songs that I, I when I listen to songs, I listen to them like 10, 28,000 times. Okay, what's your most played on iTunes, do you think? Or like Spotify, if you can see. On Spotify? Yeah. Does it tell you your most played? Well, they had, like, for me, they had like a list of like my most played in 2018. Like for the year. Oh, like one of my top most played songs was 11 Blocks by Warble. Really yeah, my song top too. songs for 2018. It was a long list. I think it's like 100 songs. So just give us like five. Yeah, it's kind of long. Okay, <laughs> so my top song was this song, Uh Huh, by Julia Michaels. Which well, you that's know. because you did it for my thing, probably. No, I didn't. Oh. Oh, that was a different song? The oh, song yeah, that was, that, what was that called? The song that I did for your for your wedding was um, Still the One by, by Julia Ingrid Michaels. Michaelson. Oh, I always get those two mixed up. Yeah. Ingrid Michaels and Julia Michaels, and they're yeah. both like so Julia very Michaels, similar artists. It's uh huh, and it's the one that's like uh huh. Yeah. You got me moving in too close or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I I'm obsessed with that song. I think it's so sexy and fun. Ooh. And it just makes you want to like gyrate. Okay, yeah, she's gyrating on my couch. <laughs> just please relax. <laughs> anyway, and then I have Lottery by Jade Bird. Love. I don't even know that song. Yeah, I I played it for you. It's like um, I can't even think of it now. It's like. You got your numbers and you're betting on me. Oh, okay. I think I you told know. me about it. It's like, love is a lottery and you got your numbers and you're betting on me. So my top like song, I don't know if these are in order of like what's actually your top though. My top is 11 Blocks by Robble or Warble, whatever this band's called. My second is No Roots and that, I don't even really like that song. That's just for my son playing it. <laughs> my third is Thunder from Imagine Dragons and that's because that was like a song we played at camp as like... For, oh, for okay. Splash Mob. And then, weirdly, after that is Tell Me I'm a Wreck by Every Avenue. I love that song. And then this song called Diane by Cam. Hmm. Which is, like, about a girl, and she's basically like, Diane, I didn't know he was your man. I would have noticed a gold wedding band. Hmm. Like... Yeah, you, I think you said that to me. Yeah. So then my other one... That's, like, my, my tops. Third, wait, did I say Love by Lana Del Rey? No. I love that song. And then... My fourth one is Back to You by Selena Gomez. Those are probably real, though, because I've listened to those like a bajillion times. Oh, so I one think of my... all those songs are on... Every every song on this list is on that song, that playlist, because basically yeah. I listen to that playlist every day. Right. So I listen to these songs a bajillion times. So one of... I did have one Taylor Swift song in there. It was gorgeous. Nice. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? My favorite Taylor Swift song, I think, is still Last Kiss. Yeah, you've always liked that it's always one. always been my favorite. I like Last December a lot. Is that what that one's called? I'm just called Back, Back to, to December. December. <laughs> Back to December. I'm like, whatever it's called. Um, I also really love Dear John. I feel like that's such a scathing, like, <laughs> scathing song about John Mayer. And it's, like, so true. I just feel like I literally, with her lyrics in that song, I'm like, girl, you spoke right to my heart. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's so terrible. much of, like, the whole blurred boundaries of, like, dating this day and age. And yeah. Like, I was like, oh, it's everything I've always wanted to say and didn't have the words for. Yeah. And Shake It Off is just, like, fun. Well, then I the like other, Gorgeous. That's, like, a funny one, too. Yeah, I love that song. But the other funny thing, or that there's a funny thing about John Mayer, that have you seen him showing you how to put on moisturizer? No. So he basically, I don't know if he... Why do you need to be showing how to put on moisturizer? I don't know if he tweeted this or put it on his, like, Instagram story, but basically he was like... When you put moisturizer on your fingertips and then put it on your face, you lose a lot of moisturizer in your hands. So if you, because you know, like, how do you put on moisturizer? You probably put it in your hands, you rub your hands together. I like pat a little. And no, then usually what I do, honestly, is I scoop it out of my jar and I pat it on my face and then I rub it around on my face. Okay, so you're kind of doing more or less, I guess, what he's saying to do, <laughs> but you have to get it with your fingers because yours comes from a jar. Right. He had one that was a pump and he so pumped just it directly it right on onto his face. his face and then he rubs it in. And then I saw a thing on Snapchat that was like, so ridiculous. Do you put, how do you put on moisturizer? And it was like, this is how, it was like, how everyone put, it was like, John Mayer puts it on like this. Imagine no, it, it was like, like, it was like, do you, it was like, what, it was like, do you put it on by, on your fingertips or directly on your face? And it was like, everyone in the world. John Mayer. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you should make a video where you have like, um, not like a pump bottle, but just like a squeezy bottle and just like <laughs> show your face and just like squeezing it all over your face <laughs> like completely covered in like thick lotion. Okay, this is another shout. This is another funny thing that I was watching. Like, I don't know why. Like, so stuff comes up. You never really go on Snapchat, but sometimes I go on Snapchat Discover. So whatever. Jeffree Star 
like popped up. Do you even know who that is? No, I've never even heard of that. He person. is like a makeup guy. Okay, maybe so I've seen him on one of the Facebook. makeup YouTube people. He has like bleached blonde hair, and anyway, maybe so like that. He does weird. his makeup, and then he also like makes makeup products and stuff. Okay, so he was like, oh. Go look at my video. It's going to be up in 30 minutes. And let me just say it is. Mm. <laughs> and I was like, mm, I want to see what his video is. Oh, good marketing. <clears throat> so I went and watched it. And it was really funny. And I don't know who the other guy was. He was with this other guy. And they were trying out the Kylie skincare products. Okay. And like the way the, guy, the other guy was like, okay. Anyway, it's this long compliment thing, but just watch it. It was really funny. The, way the guy was doing this one, like the, the cleanser. Yeah. It was so funny. I was like cracking up. Okay. So moving back to our favorite songs and artists now. Who's okay. your favorite artist? Probably my favorite artist is Taylor Swift. Because I mean, okay. I just say like I always, I bought all her albums. I always like, lo- I, I really have like a love-hate relationship with her, but I do always you, buy like, her music. It's kind of like, can you separate the art from the artist? Because you think she's, like, annoying. <laughs> it's like, I just feel like she's not genuine, but it's hard to tell. It's like, maybe she actually is, but I just feel like everything she says and does is so manufactured. Yeah. And, and she also, seems like such a mean girl. Like, a stereotypical mean girl. Yeah. Because then there's, like... With her squad and everything. Yeah, with her squad. And then, like, she got pushback on that, so she's not doing it with the squad. She got pushback about not taking a political stance, so now she's, like very pro pride see she's doing a lot for like pride and got like pushed back for being like a poster child for the kkk (laughs) or the aryan brotherhood (laughs) and not like speaking out against them right is the problem but then it's and then i just think everything with because obviously like i like i said i use spotify so when her music came off spotify i was really ticked because she has more than enough money so to me but now it's back on spotify i know yeah but the thing is at the time i think like it was Bleak Shelton was like, oh, I get what she's saying because there's a lot of people that get money that work to make an album and, like, they can't afford to make so little money on royalties. And I'm like, but guess what? If Taylor really cared about that, she could take less money. Yeah, that's she true. Could she could give them a bigger, bigger cut, cut. Her money or she whatever. She could say you get all the streaming. Yeah. She, I think, what, do you know what band it was that was, like, I don't remember who said this, but they were basically, like, download my music illegally, do yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So it was from The Voice. So then Adam Levine oh, was I like, sneeze. I don't care how you get my music. Steal it, buy it, whatever. Just listen to it. He's like, I'm grateful that people want to listen to my music. Right. I, I'm i not a fan of piracy, but the thing is you're still getting paid for it. You're just saying, we're not getting enough, so we're going to take it out. Yeah, but to me, that's just punishing And to me, fans. I was like, yeah. And I was personally was like, okay, but Spotify is like the main way I use my listen to music. So if you take it off Spotify, then it's like if I want to listen to your album, I have to specifically go just to where your album is, which is, like, it's maybe the only album I have in iTunes or, like, one CD that I own. But, like, we pretty much always bought her albums from Target to get the bonus tracks anyway. So I was like, maybe they can just come up with a system where, like, you can only, like, get her music on Spotify if you buy the album. Because then it's like, you're yeah. not going to buy 10 of the same album, so what's the difference? If you buy it once, then you should be able to stream it also, I feel. But, like... Whatever. She's back yeah, on it now. Yeah, so. back on it now. But that just annoyed me. And then I, I just felt like her response was a very, like, PR, manufactured response. Um, He's, like, freaking out. <laughs> that was weird. Just turn it but, off. But um, it's just kind of, like, did it. Like, to me, it was just, like, oh, you're greedy. And, like, I just feel like she's not genuine. Like, yeah. people are always like, oh, she's so sweet. But I just feel like she's really fake-seeming. But it's, like, again, I don't know so whatever but I All do right, her so. music is catchy I love her music I mean I don't know that's pro- I like other I like other artists typically if I like an artist I like most of their stuff I like yeah. Taylor Swift uh, Britney Spears yeah <laughs> she's going through a lot right now <laughs> um you know I like the same kind of like country artists that Renee likes yeah I like a lot of different people and like it also just really depends on my mood like when I'm in, like, a super upbeat summer mood, I listen to, like, Real Big Fish. <laughs> That's, like, I my like summer pink. jam. Yeah, Pink I like. She's fun. Honestly, an artist I like also is Miley Cyrus. Yeah. And I really like her because I know she, like, got really wild for a while, but I feel like she's, like, very true to herself. And she's kind of like, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. And I, like, really respect that about her. And, like, I think yeah. she got a little extra crazy for a while, but I'm like, but she was, like, 21, 22. Like, she was having her fun, and now she's, like, sort of growing and settling down. And, like, it's just nice to see that she didn't, like, completely crash and burn after being, like, a child star. 
like a so yeah, do. Yeah, she seems like a genuine person. Like, yeah. And I like Demi Lovato. Yeah, Demi Lovato's cool. She has a lot of issues, too, but... I actually called Miley Cyrus today. Did you see that on Facebook? No. I follow her on Facebook. So she basically has this thing, and it's like, every day it seems like she puts up a different video of her, like, being on the phone. So today she was like, it was something right? She's like, no, my mom's not home. She's working her butt off. Um, tell your mom I can still smell her. And then she's like, oh, it smells so good. And then she's like, <laughs> I beeped your mom. <laughs> so she like, whispers that. So it's, weird. like, so weird. But then she's like, call me. And it's this, like, 800 number that you can call. And it's, like, Miley. And then you can leave a voicemail. <laughs> That's funny. So, anyway, I love to so That's just, like, totally random. But that reminds me of, do you remember the commercials for Little Caesars Pizza? They had these commercials, like, a couple of years ago on the radio. And it was like, if you want a hot and ready... Hot and ready, Little Caesars Pizza. All you have to do is come in. They're like, you do not need to call. So you do not need to call phone number 888, whatever, whatever, whatever. Because there's no need. The pizzas are always hot and ready. So then, like, I called the number. And they're like, it's the same guy. And he's like, oh, no. You called the number. He's like, you didn't have to call this. The pizzas are already ready at your <laughs> Little Caesars. And it's, like, really funny. <laughs> it's totally weird, but it just made me think of that. Um, but side note, we go to Little Caesars and they like never have the pizzas ready. Well, that Little Caesars closed now. <gasps> it did. Yeah. <laughs> did you try to go there and it was yeah, gone? Yeah, and it was gone. And then I had to go to Plainfield to get Little Caesars. <laughs> I actually thought about going there last week and then I well, was it's like, been closed. yeah, it's too far away. Yeah, I don't feel like going. Unfortunately. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. So I think that kind of wraps up our favorites or a little bit of our favorites. And we talked a little bit about how we listen. So like I primarily use Spotify as my main. Yeah, we have Spotify Premium, and we've had it for, like, Garth seven Garth is years. still holding out. <laughs> I know. He started streaming music through his, like, own website. Yeah. But, like, he's still holding out. Eventually, I think he'll get on there, but we'll see. I have, like, all the apps of things of, like, there's some artists that are weird that, like, like I guess, like, I don't know, because, like, our podcast is on Spotify, so I feel like if you're an independent artist, you can get it on Spotify, but I don't know how it works with music. I don't know. Maybe it's different. It's strange. But anyway, I have, like, the SoundCloud app, and, like, I use Amazon Music, iTunes. I mean, I really don't use iTunes, but I, I do buy every, every Taylor Swift. So, basically, for the Taylor Swift, we've pre-ordered every album on iTunes, and then we've also, like, for a couple of them, gone out to Target and bought a second album because we were like, we need it the second it comes out, and we need the bonus tracks. Well, some of my favorite Taylor Swift songs are bonus tracks. Yeah, that's true. Like, Wonderland. But, um, oh, and another song I like by her is Clean. I really like that Mm. one. Yeah, but we've had this this Spotify (laughs) um, premium for a while, so it's really great. Spotify commercial coming up right now just by us talking about it. For premium, uh, you can get your whole household on there for $15 a month. Yep, if you live together. So up to five people, and it's And you can download, so you can can download the music, so then you can, like, prepare yourself with all your playlists and stuff and you can't have your phone yeah you can like download an it or whatever yeah um and it's just really awesome you can make playlists you can share them we'll be able to share some of our playlists on our website yeah so you guys can check out what we listen, listen to listen to my playlist nay nay's birthday <laughs> yeah yeah so if you're one of the people who've listened to that and liked it go ahead I don't know how it works for free. I know that our podcast is on Spotify free, but I don't know how, like, I'm assuming you can still follow playlists, but there just might be ads. I'm really not sure. So we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so if you can check it out, that would be cool. And then you can see our music. And when you follow someone's playlist, like, I follow one of Renee's. If she edits it, it just edits on my end, too. So it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, because I follow one of Jess's. So then, like, one time I was, like, it was just, like, called the My Jams playlist, and it was in my, like, Q. Sometimes the app's kind of confusing. Like, it used to be, I think, more streamlined, and now it's, like, kind of weird. Like, when you search artists, like, the way it comes up is kind of annoying. But, like, whatever. It's fine. Um, so, it was, like, in my, like, list of playlists. And they have a lot of listeners. Like, they have all your daily mixes, which are just, like, playlists that Spotify makes based off, like, songs you listen to a lot. So, I was like, oh, I guess this is just, like, some playlist called My Jams. But then I'm, like, listening to it, and I'm like, wow, these are really specific jams that, like, I feel like we know and, like, no one else knows. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> Jess made this playlist. So, oh, we didn't even say, like, I would say some of my favorite country music comes from the show Nashville. Yeah. Which was on ABC, mm-hmm. I think. And then it yeah. got moved to CMT, and it got really bizarre. But the music is really good. And it's, like, more harkens back to that, like, old school country um, so if you have never listened to the Nashville soundtrack, it's really great. You should check it out. 
Connie Britton is not the most fantastic singer, um, but Hayden Panettiere is pretty good, I think. And then like the other art, like the no-name actors are like amazing. They're so good. The songs are great. You'll cry. And the best part about it, I think, is that the show's really the the first few seasons of the show are very good, and you get to get the backstory of of the songs because basically you're like you know who the song is about and you know like oh these two people belong together but they're singing about how they can't be together and it's like it's just really fun yes I love that music yeah it's a good one okay so right now we're gonna take a short commercial break so we will be back in a minute beefy boys coming at you. This week's podcast is brought to you by The Beefy Boys. Just three cool dudes hanging out, talking about sports, video games, music, and whatever else they feel like. <clears throat> find them at their website, www.beefyboys.com. Also, we, you find your other podcasts, iTunes, Podbean, YouTube, you know, all the regulars. The Beefy Boys, the best show on planet Earth. Okay, we're back. I'm going to pull up our outline again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play some games that we have. We love games. Come up with. Okay, so. I mean, we didn't invent these games. <laughs> well, we decided to play them. Okay. So the first game that we're going to play is basically a humming melodies game. So we each wrote down songs and we're going to take turns humming them. And then the other person is going to have to guess the song that we're humming. So you can play along at home. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to go first? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's easy. <laughs> that's Party at the Party in the USA by yep. Miley Cyrus. You got it. Okay, I'll start with mine. <clears throat> Pour some sugar on me. You got it. That was one of mine. So I told you. I knew <laughs> we were gonna have some of the same because that's our karaoke jam. Pour some sugar on me. Def Leppard. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think you'll have my next one, but maybe you will. <laughs> oh, um, is this Don't Speak? Yeah. <laughs> By no doubt. I'm like, what? <laughs> At first I thought you were doing that, like, Western thing, like, <laughs> and I was like, what is I'm like, I don't know the name of that song. <laughs> it's like the dual Western song. All right, okay. um, here's mine. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 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 Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Deception. Yeah. What's it called? You're not one of he us. He's not one of us. <laughs> that is a song from Lion King 2 soundtrack, where basically all the animals are ostracizing Kovu, who's like Sun Scar's son, the bad lion. Um, or he's not really his son, I guess, because then they would know. be cousins. But whatever, lions yeah, are really incestuous. Yeah. So yeah, they're like all ostracizing. So they're like. Deception, <laughs> disgrace, For shame. evil as plain as the scar on his face. Deception. I, that's a zebra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and it's like stupid because Kovu is like related to Scar, and then he also gets a scar on his face. So I'm like, seriously, like when your dad's defining characteristic is that he has a scar, that doesn't mean you as a baby will also have the same exact scar. That's not how genetics works. <laughs> Although so it's dumb. like, is it really a scar? Like on Scar, is it a scar? No, it's a scar because he gets it later in the movie. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, stupid. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Jess's turn. <clears throat> I don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds perverse. <laughs> it sounds like you're enjoying yourself too much. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I have no idea. What is it? <laughs> I'll get to the part you'll know. Just get to Probably. That. <laughs> oh, let it go. <laughs> 
Okay, maybe start with like a more recognizable part next time. <laughs> I started from the beginning. Okay. So funny okay. that we both did Disney songs though. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, this I guess one's... I don't have to start from the beginning. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> no. Okay. Let me keep going. <clears throat> I gotta think of how it goes now. Okay. Oh, that all summer long song? Yeah. <laughs> that was like, because I wasn't doing the words, I was doing like the actual song. Okay. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Oh, this is like You Belong With Me Yeah. Taylor Swift. Okay. I'm like, what song is this? Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me try this one. Your turn, your turn. <laughs> My next ones I think you'll get. They're pretty easy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, cheap throws? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, sound like seagulls. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Place my other oh, one. okay. What's your last one then? Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. What is the song called? Mm-hmm. I want it that way. Yeah. I'm like, you are my fire. <laughs> At first I thought it was Amazing Grace. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now here's my last one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
run this way. Yeah, <laughs> Lady Gaga. Yeah. All right, nice job. Okay, okay that so was sorry if, fun. if our humming sounds totally weird. <laughs> like I felt like my humming was so manly, <laughs> which I didn't even know could be a thing, but that's how I felt. Okay, if the humming was really, really bad, we'll cut it out, and then this episode will just be a few minutes shorter. So <laughs> no, we'll still play it. It's fun, I think. Okay. If you didn't like it, you can just fast forward. But we had fun. <laughs> yeah, you can fast forward now that you know that. Yeah. Sorry, just rewind and then fast forward. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Um, Tell your friends. You're right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now our second game is that we are going to read some song lyrics, and then we're going to try to guess what song they're from. And like we had talked about in our stu- in our Super Duper Natural episode, we're going to read them in a very monotone way so that we're not giving anything away. As best as we can. Yeah, as best as we can. Okay, okay I'll you go first start this time. time. Okay. Gotta get in tune with Sailor Moon, because that cartoon has got the boom. Anime babes, they make me think the wrong thing. I'm like, what is this song called? I'm like, boom, anime babes, and I can think of the wrong thing. Oh, One Week? Yeah, One okay. Week by Very Naked Ladies. ladies. <clears throat> okay. And it's just my luck to end up getting stuck to everything you are. Okay, I know the song. I think one. <laughs> so tonight I'll sit and pick apart your pictures and overanalyze your words. Speak up. Because the truth is that I never wanted so bad... Is it All Hail the Heartbreaker? Yes. Okay. I was like, I can't That's remember. by the spill canvas. Yes, but there's like, they only say that part one time in the song, so that's like a tricky one. All right, here's my next one. Hello, my friend. We meet again. It's been a while. Where should we begin? Is it a Billy Joel song? No. Elton John? No. I don't know. I'll sing it this time and see if you know it. Hello, my friend. Can you sing it louder? Again. It's been a while. Where should we begin? I have no idea. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Sacrifice by Creed. <laughs> I thought you loved Christian what? Rock. <laughs> oh my god, okay. You, you were like, don't choose things that are obscure. Everyone has heard that song, Jessica. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, next. Her hair reminds me of a warm sort womp. <laughs> I already know what it is. It's a warm, safe place, not a worm schmarm. <laughs> yeah, and I'm that is sweet guess. child mine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, my next one. <laughs> now two is done. Nothing's been won. I can't take it back. Is that Bad Blood by Taylor Swift? No. Something by Taylor Swift? No. I don't know. I'll sing it again. Now two is done, nothing's been won. I can't take it back, what's done is done. <laughs> you don't know it? I know it, but I don't think, I can't think of it. Not even with my embellishment. <laughs> One more time. Now two is oh, done, wait. nothing's been won. I can't take it back, what's done is done. It's so much No, it's Backstreet Boys. Yes. The, oh, call. Yeah, the Call. Okay. <laughs> Our favorite jam. Savage <laughs> Garden. <laughs> it just reminded me of like To the Moon and Back by Savage Garden. I know, like, the second it. time it got more Savage Garden y. Okay, go do yours now. What is it? Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. You'll get this one. It's pretty easy. <clears throat> I'm like on the verge of laughing. I cannot read it. I'm trying not to look at you. <laughs> wait, can we take a second to appreciate how isn't it cute that I got Tim? an anniversary card that has two penguins holding hands and mom got us an anniversary card that's also like the same two penguins yeah, holding hands the, but different like cards. Yeah, it's a reflected image of it. Yeah, it's kind of Yeah, weird. I saw that. I was like, did you guys get these like year after year? <laughs> no, okay. we just happened to both be that's penguins. That's cute. Yeah. All right, take, post it on our Instagram, a picture of it. Okay. And you fall and you crawl and you break and you take what you get and you turn it into honesty. What you making? <laughs> Why can't I? Isn't that what it is? What? what? Is that what the song is called? No. Wait. Can you call it? Oh. Can you find it again? Is it complicated? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, Avril Lavigne. It's complicated by Avril Lavigne. And okay. <clears throat> all right. Here's the next one. When you feel all alone and the world has turned its back on you, give me a moment, please, to tame your wild, wild heart. I don't know. No, does it sound familiar at least? It sounds like that song by BB Mac. BB Mac? Okay. Oh, like Back at One or something? <laughs> or like, I don't know. Well, can you sing it? Can you read it again? 
When you feel all alone and the world has turned its back on you, give me a moment, please, to tame your wild, wild heart. Oops. I don't know. <laughs> Want me to sing it? Yeah. When you feel Louder. all alone okay. and the world has turned its back on you, give me a moment, please, to tame your wild, wild heart. I still don't know what song it is, though. I know I've heard it. <laughs> it is Savage Garden. <laughs> Crash and Burn by Savage Garden. Which oh, was Crash and Burn, that's the song I was songs. thinking. I wanted to say Crash and Burn, <laughs> For but the I thought cold? it was by B.B. Mack. Oh, no. Okay. Crash and Burn by Savage Garden. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Four Blue Eyes. <laughs> four <laughs> Blue Eyes? <laughs> that was kind of a joke. Just <laughs> Twin Fire Signs, Four Blue Eyes. Just see if you could get it. With Just that. Twin Fire Signs, did you say? Is it a Taylor Swift song? She'll sing about blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was wondering if you'd get it by blue eyes. I mean, I could tell it's about her. She said probably something about red lipstick in that one, too. Um, is it, like, that one that's, like, you're in love? No. One touch. Whatever. No, no, no. What is it? Out it's of the woods? It's State of Grace. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. That was, like, not a lot to work on. All right, here's my last one. These times are so hard, and it's getting even harder, trying to feed and water my seed. I don't know. <laughs> you want me to sing it? Sure. <clears throat> and these times are so hard, and it's getting even harder, try to feed and water my seed, plus tea that time. Yeah. What song? I don't know. Lose yourself, feed. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I can't sing this, but here's, <clears throat> he's the hairy-handed gent who ran amok in Kent. Ew, what? Is this a song? Is this a nursery rhyme? <laughs> your face is too much right now. <laughs> it's a song. Oh, let me guess. It's sung by Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I'll read it again. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just dying. He's the hairy-handed gent who ran amok in Kent. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know. There's didn't help. I heard you the first time. Is it an Ed Sheeran song? It's horrible. <laughs> I was going to say that, too, because I figured it would be something stupid like that. Ew, it's hairy-handed. How weird. Well, his hair all over his whole body. Is yeah, it but horrible? why specifically mention his hairy hands? <laughs> I don't know. Bizarre. All right. Um, that was pretty fun. Okay, so now our next on our agenda is, well, let us send us an email and let us know how many of those you were able to guess. Um, hopefully it was more than zero. Uh... But yeah, I hope you had fun playing along. <laughs> so next on the agenda is mistaken song lyrics. So do you have any good examples of... I mean, like, I feel like the most classically mistaken song lyric is rev wrapped up like a douche, you know, <laughs> and blinded by the light, where it says, like, wrapped up like a douche, another runner in the night. And they always think it says wrapped up like a douche. I don't even know the song blinded by the light. Yes, you do. <laughs> blinded by the light. I might have heard the song once in my life. Girl. You're so crazy. Wait, um, well, here's a great one with staking song lyrics. It was the song, um, I just stayed in your arms tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is by Cutting Crew. Who knew? Some people, not me. I just thought it was like meatloaf or something. Oh, that's you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like similar sounding songs. Whatever. Anyway, and people were like, in my trivia team, thought that it was just dying just or, dying? No, they thought, I said, isn't it, I just died in your arms tonight? And they were like, no, it's I'm dying in your arms tonight. No, it's definitely not. And I'm like, I'm dying in your arms. No, it's definitely not. Yeah. But Every time I, I heard that song, I learned that, like, in Shakespearean times, died means, like, orgasm. So I was always like, oh, maybe they just had an orgasm in their arms. That's, like, always what I thought. I think that's what it's saying. Because oh. it's not, it's, like, positive. No, because isn't it saying it must have been something you said? And yeah, then the like, rest of the words are sad. Daddy. Or something like that. Ew, that's so creepy. It's yes, not what you nasty. Freak is all right. <laughs> um, anyway. So other examples we I had. Mean, the example I have that I always think of is like. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Odor. Oh sorry. Odor. No, it's Odor. Odor. Not Odor. Not Odor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, is when that Taylor Swift song, Blank Space, came out, and it was like, 
and in a Starbucks lovers. And yeah. everyone's like, what is she saying about Starbucks? Yes. And she loves Starbucks. Had a long list of ex-lovers. Yeah. But people got thought a long she list. was in it. Yeah. Got a long list of ex-lovers. I'll tell you why I'm insane. Is it because you totally are, you crazy psycho? Yeah, whatever. Hopefully they don't get really famous, and then we'll get in, like, a diss war with T-Swizzle. Crazy people can find love, too, sometimes. <laughs> they can find love, they just also lose it a lot. You know, they find it, and then it leaves. And then they find it again, and it leaves again. Yeah, and then when we were kids, there was this song. What is that song, anyway? Oh, God. It's like... It's like, when I think about heaven, I think about you. When I think about rain... Yeah. It's like, when I think about rain, I think about singing. When I think about singing, it's a heavenly tune. When I think about heaven, I think about angels. And when I think about angels, I think about you. Yeah, so at some point in it, she's like, she says something about peanut butter skies. Yeah, and we're like, what? But it's actually, the words are a field of butterflies, but our mom thought it was peanut butter skies. And we're like, mom, that doesn't, why would you write a song talking about a beautiful <clears throat> experience and mentioning peanut butter skies? Especially our mom wouldn't really make that connection because she doesn't even like peanut butter. But she likes her Reese's Cups, so go But that her. does come up with a good point that she always, like, <laughs> she has this thing. And she, I think she does it less so now because yeah. we were like, Mom, that's really silly. Um, <clears throat> but she would do this thing where she'd be like, what did you say? Did she just say peanut butter skies? We're like, no, we obviously didn't say peanut butter skies. We're like, what's an example? I don't even know. Like, if you sneezed. And you were like, oh, oh my god, well, why would you say it just sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> or like, you're like, oh my god, I really have to sneeze. And she'd be like, did you say you want shredded cheese? And I'm like, no, I don't want shredded cheese. We're like, in swimming in a pool. Like, why yeah. would I want cheese right now? It would be something that's not totally appropriate or like just totally inappropriate for the situation. And it's yeah. just kind of like, we'd be like, really, do you think that's what we said? <laughs> Oh man, you're silly that's just goose. Mom. That's what mom. She's just silly, silly goose. <clears throat> All right, anyway. so should we wrap up now with the movies? Yeah, what's, what's popping at the movies? movies? You know, the other day, actually, yesterday, we were like Sorry, driving home, and I was talking to Jess about that new show, Good Omens, that's on Amazon Prime, and she, for some reason, she was just singing to me everything. She's like. Yeah, but I don't really like it because that guy from Masters of Sex is kind of a jerk. And I was like, why? But honestly, I actually didn't even say anything. And then she just kept singing to me for like five responses. And I'm like, you're so weird. But that's just a side note. Anyway, we did see a movie this week. We saw Aladdin. Yes, Aladdin. It was very good. You liked it? I thought it was pretty good. I feel like I'm not really sure how I feel about these live action Disney movies that are remakes of the originals. Because I've just... I feel like I always like the originals better. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Like, so, so they added a new song, which I don't know, maybe that's in the musical. Speechless. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't look up if it is, but... Well, I first of all, the, the actress who plays Jasmine is insanely beautiful. Yeah, she's really pretty. Singer, I think. Really pretty, yeah, good singer. And so, yeah, they added a song for her called Speechless. And I like it because I always... Jasmine was always, like, one of the Disney princesses that was, like, very... She had a very strong character. Yeah. Um, she was not a dazzle... A dazzle. <laughs> a damsel she in distress. She wasn't a dazzle or a damsel. <laughs> she wasn't a distress. damsel in distress. Like, she very much took charge. D&D. So I liked how they incorporated more of that into this movie. Like, they talk more about her, like basically ruling and not needing like a man necessarily to like take over for her and i guess maybe it's just not in the tradition but like would she still be called a sultan yeah i feel like sultaness kind of or something yeah it'd be kind of yeah. weird maybe they didn't have the name for those people yet yeah, so they, they, probably, they had to like, figure it out later. um but i don't know like obviously it's really hard to not compare like will smith to robin williams and he's That's just irreplaceable what I was thinking, yeah and then some of the songs like i don't really love how they change some of like the genius songs like I feel like some of the songs they they like made changes to every song and I just didn't really feel like they were necessary although like I definitely noticed the whole new world I think maybe not that one or yeah. maybe they cut out like one part I don't no 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 they didn't I don't think they changed that one but like I noticed in um Make Way for Prince Ali which is like one of my favorite songs um they like didn't say that they have slaves mm. so like instead of saying they have slaves he has servants and flunkies they said he has 10,000 servants and flunkies. Mm. And I was like, oh, I guess they didn't want to say slaves. And then there were, like, a couple other things where there was, like, probably non-PC things that they, like, didn't say in this one. Yeah, and then they also said um, Friday Salam instead of... Yeah, brush up your Friday Salam yeah. instead of your... So, yeah, I was like, oh, is Sunday, that when they so... celebrate their... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, but... <clears throat> yeah, so that was interesting. Um, and then, like, some of the stuff, too, like, with the genie's magic, like... 
in some ways I get it because in the first Aladdin, like in the original, I was always like, this is so weird because like if he's like making him a prince, he's not really making him a prince. He's just like dressing him up like a prince. And they kind of like touch on that in this one. But I feel like it was kind of like, what's the point of even having a genie? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't actually make... He, like, talks about how it's, like, all an illusion and, like, you have to tell the truth and everything. And it's like, well, then why did I even wish for this in the first place? I guess to get his foot in the door, which is kind of, like, in the original... But see, I also kind of like in the original Aladdin, I feel like the way that Aladdin acts when he's Prince Ali and he gets really cocky, and they kind of do that in this one, but it's, like, a little bit... He's just, like, so. really socially awkward. Like, he's just like, oh, uh, it's fine. Like, I'm just not going to tell her. I, like, smoothed it over... <clears throat> whatever but I feel like in the original Aladdin you know when like the genie's playing chess with the magic carpet and they have like that fight yeah and then I just feel like that felt more real about like a fight between like friends basically about him just be yourself and then right. he's like no she'd never like me which is dumb because like she obviously did like him but whatever well, he's probably He's probably insecure or whatever I also cool. get confused but I, I guess I've always been confused about the ending like why so it's like okay is it like a once in a lifetime like you one time get to find one like you find one genie and you only ever get three wishes from that one genie because like once jafar takes the lamp can't he just get it back and get three more wishes like why does it go back to him having only one wish left i didn't really what do you mean oh like when jafar finds the lamp again no, like, even oh, like when, when Aladdin, Aladdin gets, gets it the back. Because in the original, it's like, yeah, Aladdin yeah, gets the Yeah, I guess back. probably from one genie, you can only get your max three. But then yeah. this one, like, what, he became, like, a human after? That, I thought, oh, that was weird, too. Yeah, that was... I'm like, so, that sucks. Because then, like, would you really want that? Like, it'd be cool if you could be a free genie and still have all your genie powers. Like, which also, that would be, like, your see, reward of being a prisoner for so long. Yeah. If the reward is you have to serve everyone while you have these powers, and then as soon as you're free, you have nothing, like, that sucks. Yeah, and then the other thing that's weird about it, like... I kind of thought, like, okay, it made sense that he could become a human, and maybe he's like, I just want to be able to, like, live a normal life, whatever, like, I, w- I don't want to be a slave anymore, which is fair, but, like, it at least made a little bit more sense, because I always thought it was weird when he actually, like, was friends with Aladdin, why Aladdin couldn't have just freed him, and then he could just, like, give him favors with his magic. Right. But I think the idea is, like, if you free them right away, then they might not be friends with you, because they're just like, thanks, later. Yeah, but Once I mean, they're, like, he, close. he becomes friends with him quickly. True. Although, and then also, even the way they got to the Cave of Wonders. So, like, in the original, Aladdin basically does trick him because he's, like... He's, like, oh, you can't even bring people back like, from I, the dead? Yeah, you I probably can't, can't even get, get us out, out of this cave. cave. And then in this one, it's, like, he tricks him because he's not rubbing the lamp while he asks for the wish, which, like, who's ever heard that when you get a genie, you have to rub the lamp while you ask for the wish? That's yeah, really absurd. bizarre. Yeah, really that was weird. really weird to me. Yeah, I felt like there's no need to change that. And if anything, why could the genie... If that's the case, why could the genie even grant the wish if you're not rubbing the lamp? Like, that was really stupid. Yeah. Like, it would seem like it would be the kind of thing where, like, oh, it won't actually work unless you're rubbing the yeah, lamp. Like, it won't be activated. Yeah, and that was really... <laughs> that really, that's that's bizarre, you're right. And the other... Con- the plot hole that really annoyed me was, like, they get the lamp back and they're flying around on the carpet. Why don't they just rub it? Like, why doesn't Jasmine just rub it to get control of the genie again? Yeah, that's pretty like, dumb. They, like, were riding around for ten minutes getting chased, and then they're like, oh, now, now Jafar got it back. It's like, well, why didn't you just rub it, you idiot? <laughs> yeah. Why are we just holding it? That's pretty dumb. <laughs> that was stupid. Anyway, <laughs> all in all, I'd say one thumb up. Yeah, I'd say, like, same. One thumb up. Pretty good. You kind of knew what you were going to get. Not as good as the original, I don't think. Definitely a better rendition than, like, the Beauty and the Beast. Yes, I agree. So. All right. All right. Anything else for today? No, I don't have any more final thoughts. No final thoughts. All right, you want to plug our socials? All right. Short for, short for um, socials. Our website is dearfriendsisters.com. You can check us out this week uh, for some of our music suggestions and some of our playlists. Our Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, you can follow us at dearfriendsisters. And on Facebook.com slash dearfeetpodcast, or you can email us at dearfriendsisters at gmail.com. Uh, email us your song suggestions or like Renee had said if you guessed any of our songs correctly there's no prizes but like we can give you a shout out (laughs) it's the honor system so just be truthful (laughs) okay all All right right. we're the dear dear scissors and we're (laughs) I'm sorry did I do it too fast for you we're We're the the dear dear (laughs) scissors well I started doing like (laughs) (laughs) all right ready let's just stay together we're the dear. Okay, I'll, conduct, <laughs> I'll conduct us. Okay. 
We're the Deerfoot Sisters, and we're prancing away. Bye! I can't say it so naturally. <laughs>